Hi, and welcome to Hibiscus Children's Center show, and I'm thrilled to have you here at where we can have an opportunity to share what we do to serve children who are abused, abandoned, and neglected. My name is Paul Sexton. I'm the president and CEO of Hibiscus Children's Center, and, and today I'm thrilled to have uh, two very familiar guests with me today, two of our new board members, uh, at least on our governing board, yes. and of course they've served in a number of capacities with our organization and so um, Jeff it's a, a real pleasure to have you here thank you and Shauna it's a thrill to have you here as well thanks Paul so uh, for our meeting I would love our audience to understand you and what you do in our community and why you're part of Hibiscus Children's Center and why you serve on the board so Jeff why don't we start with you if you could just <laughs> give us a brief introduction Sure. Uh, I'm Jeff Emeluth. I'm a financial advisor with Craig Jeffries Wealth Management Group. I am involved in a lot of uh, organizations and charities in the community, uh, and I've been here for 14 years, um, very actively involved with the Chamber of Commerce, the Economic Development Council, um, my Legion post, uh, Post 318, Sons of the American Legion, which is mm -hmm. what I'm involved with. Mm -hmm. I'm also on the board for the uh, HR Association for St. Lucie County. So you're busy in our community. A little bit busy, yeah. <laughs> wow, and I'm just thrilled you found time to to fit Hibiscus Children's Center into that uh, range of activities you're involved in. Thank you. I love the cause. I love being able to help out. It's, it's a phenomenal organization, and I absolutely uh, get so much uh, out of uh, being able to help and contribute uh, to the cause. Well, we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a moment. So, Shauna. Uh, why don't you let our folks know um, who you are, what you're doing in the community, and, and your role with uh, Hibiscus Children's Center. Thanks, Paul. Um, I'm just really appreciative of the opportunity that I've had being on the board and also being a volunteer. I started out as a volunteer about three years ago, and we did a few baseball events, golf tournament, and then we started out a Passport to Wine and Dine, which we'll speak about later, and I'm really excited to discuss that. Um, for business-wise, I, I try to help people in other avenues as well. I own a weight loss company called Metabolic Weight Loss Solutions, and we're involved in a few other charities. Um, but Hibiscus is my number one go-to for several reasons. And again, thank you for the opportunity for being here. Well, it's interesting just to listen to your introductions, and you're both so um, humble and modest. But, uh, Jeff, the work you do to help people have successful, healthy uh, financial lives, and Shauna, for you to take a focus on wellness. And that's a lot of what we do for our kids. Mm -hmm. And so as our audience probably already knows, we serve a wide range of children uh, in uh, our shelter, which is located in Jensen Beach. Yes. And those children are zero to 12 years old. And there's a huge wellness component that goes to how we treat those children. It's, it's far more than just having a bed and a place to sleep and a place to eat, but we're trying to deal with their, their, their well-being. And so it's nice to know that you both bring that kind of skill set as you're partnering with Hibiscus. Mm -hmm. So tell me um, what you're doing with our board, Jeff. What's your role? I know, obviously, you're the president of our, of our foundation board here in St. Lucie County. So tell us a little yes. bit about that. Well, originally I started out on the St. Lucie Guild and then came up to the foundation board. And with that right now, we are kind of acting uh, in concert as a guild right now as well to get programs uh, or events uh, organized so that we can uh, raise money uh, for, for Hibiscus to help with all of the programs that we do. So right now we're coming into the, the busy season. We've got right. a, a huge uh, uh, schedule of events coming up, a lot on our plate, and it's going to be a fantastic time starting off with our, our huge golf tournament on uh, September 25th. We're doing it on a Sunday morning. It's going to be at St. Lucie Trails of PGA, uh, which is going to be just an, an awesome time. And then two weeks after that, we jump right into our passport with wine, for wine and dine that Sean will be talking about a little bit more. Great. And then uh, following that up with another golf tournament in December, which is, is not going to be to the scale of the, the trails, but it's kind of a give back and a thank you to a lot of the volunteers and all the workers uh, with Hibiscus. And it's going to be a very fun golf tournament up at Indian Hills Golf Course in Fort Pierce. Gotcha. Shauna, I, I know Jeff used the term guild. And right. for a large number of people, they may not understand what that means. So what is a guild? What is a guild? Well, it's all heart, basically. It's um, women and men getting together to volunteer their time. Sometimes it's just sweat equity. We look for everything. We look for donations. We look for volunteers. We look for all different um, parts of 
people that want to be involved in hibiscus, but the guild, the guild is the heart. Those are the people that put their time, they put their effort in. And right now, that's my role on the board. Right. What I'm trying to do right now is um, I'm the vice president of the board, and uh, what we're trying to do, not myself, but the whole entire board, we're trying to grow a guild. There's so many people out there that say, I want to be involved, how do I get involved? Right. I want to be involved with a specific charity. The reason why I tr chose Hibiscus, I mean, like I, I had said earlier, I'm involved with other charities. I should have said nonprofit, right. HR association, <laughs> different. But the reason why I'm specifically involved with Hibiscus Children's Center, it's, it's because there's so many organizations out there. And I feel it's our responsibility as adults, as humans of the earth, to help children because they're the people that need it most. They don't have the opportunities that other people do. Right. and at the end of the day, we're their guardians and we need to take care of them. So I'm looking right now for a select group of people that have the same heart, same dedication that want to volunteer. A lot of people might be watching this and they might say, well, how do I do it? How do I get involved? Call Hibiscus Children's Center. We also have a website. We are truly trying to grow St. Lucie County, make it the best guild ever and help these children. And a lot of people, Paul, they don't know that the majority of our children, Hibiscus Children's Center, they come from St. Lucie County. That's right. And we have two other wings. We have Vero and we have Martin, but the majority comes from St. Lucie County. So I'm just asking the ladies and the gentlemen um, to pour your hearts out and really consider volunteering for Hibiscus Ch Children's Center. And if you don't have the time, you could always donate. You right. could always make a donation, be a friend of Hibiscus, $50, $100, every, every small, every amount counts. But yeah, we're, we're definitely trying to get the the sweat equity with the volunteers involved and we're really reaching out to the whole entire community today. Well, that's a great definition of the guild. And, and we, we're fortunate because we have two active guilds, uh, as you've already mentioned, one in Martin County and one in Indian River County. And we're really blessed to have those. And we've had um, attempts at having a St. Lucie County Guild in the past, and we've been very successful there as well. But to your point, um, many of the children we serve come from this county. And I think uh, in my own mind, when I think about guilds and what people might think about the guild is, is it's an overcommitment and, and it takes right. so much time. And I don't know if I have that kind of time to, to put into this kind of volunteering or they're concerned about now I've, I've got to have a huge financial commitment to be on the guild. And the beauty of the guild is it speaks to all levels of a person's willingness to serve. Some may just want to come to a meeting once a month or once every other month. Maybe they only want to participate in the golf uh, venue. You know, as, as I keep saying, I'm new to, to Florida from Colorado, and there's no shortage of golf courses here. And so <laughs> when we have golf events, you know, for those golfers who want to participate by way of playing in a tournament or by way of making a, a successful tournament, that's there for them. But then we do have other opportunities that – that maybe speak to another person's need. And I know you're going to talk about the, the passport to the wine and dine. And that's another example of, I don't want to golf, but I'd like to do something a little more fancy. So can you tell us a little bit about the, the passport to oh, the wine and dine? Absolutely. The passport, this is, I consider it my baby, but it belongs to everyone. We've been doing this for three years in a row. And this year, we're just going to blow it out of the park. We really have to get the funds really have to raise awareness for hibiscus. And this is our golden year for hibiscus in St. Lucie County. Right. So Passport to Wine and Dine is gonna be a little bit bigger. It's gonna be more of a gala um, than just your typical, I guess, evening under the stars. Um, it's gonna be at um, PGA, excuse me, PGA, October 8th, 2016, this year coming up. And basically you're gonna take a tour when you come into PGA, you're going to receive a passport. You're going to take a tour through seven different countries. There's mm. seven different flavors of wine. I know some people in the audience are getting excited about this, but <laughs> right. we do need volunteers <laughs> as well. So you take a tour and you taste two different types of wine from every country. We'll mm -hmm. have France, the United States, Spain, those select few that, that made the grade. But um, yeah, you're going to take a tour and you also get to have this amazing food. Mm. And we have a chef cooking two different appetizers per table. So you'll have all the food from different countries, all the wine, and a silent auction, a live auction. We're also going to have um, a performer that won a CMA, which is so exciting, flying in from Washington to perform at this event. Wow. We're going to have a live DJ, and at the end of the, end of the night, we're going to do a call of the heart and um, just try to get as many people aware of the event and involved with Hibiscus. Wow, that's super exciting. Yep. So, Jeff, I know you are a golfer. Yes, sir. Uh, so, <laughs> on behalf of all the golf communities that are here, what would you have to say 
to them to encourage them to participate in, in our events. Well, again, I mean, this is, is for a, a wonderful cause, so that alone would, hopefully would be enough. But if that's not, um, we're playing at a PGA golf course, the Trails, uh, in St. Lucie West. Uh, the cost is extremely reasonable. It's $100 per golfer, $400 per foursome, uh, which is going to include a, a very nice buffet lunch afterwards. And, again, playing on a world-class uh, golf course. Uh, we're having it on a Sunday morning so that we own the golf course that day. So there's going to be uh, sometimes you might be at a golf tournament and there's other golfers out there where we are taking over the golf course on, on that day. And uh, it's just going to be a great event. Uh, should have 100 to 120 golfers. Uh, there's going to be great prizes. Um, Corey Benton, who is also very involved, is, is helping out as well, getting some incredible prizes. We have this little mini golf caddy uh, that he's already gotten that's going to be full of uh, libations, uh, yes. should we say, sure. uh, as a, as a uh, raffle prize as well. And, and it's just going to be a phenomenal event. Looking so forward to it at that, at that venue. And, and again, mixing the um, golf tournament with the wine and dine issue, having them so close together and at two different PGA properties, uh, really um, kind of emphasizing that, that um, you know, class and, and entertainment is just going to be a great time had by all. Yeah, I think you're right. So Jeff and Sean, if I, if I understand you, and I hope our audience understands you as clearly as, as you're articulating it, we're really excited about having a uh, large level of participation from our St. Lucie County community mm -hmm. at this wonderful wine and dine event and, and partake in this passport to several wines, so that'll be exciting, <laughs> and the golf event. Um, and it, not only do we want them to participate, but we want them to let their friends know. Absolutely. So get as many yeah. people <laughs> as we can. So if they can't attend, let's make sure we at least get the word out. And apart from attendance, it would be great, Sean, if I, if I got your messaging correct, we want to build a very vibrant, uh, forward-thinking guild to help support the kinds of work that we do at Hibiscus Children's Center. I think this is probably a good place to me, for me to remind our audience, we're, you know, Hibiscus Children's Center has been here for 30 years. And yes, we do events and we do things to, to uh, make sure our community is involved. But we do an awful lot every single day to serve children. Uh, this past year is an example. We just ended our fiscal year, June 30th. We served almost 1,800 children this past year. Were you aware of that, Jeff? Just uh, recently, yes. Yeah, it's yeah. a big number. It I mean, is. And so I think people forget just how many kids are passing through our doors. Uh, I had a meeting some uh, weeks ago with our founder, LaVon Tilton, and I asked her what her major concern was, and she said, my concern is the public just isn't aware of the need. They just don't understand that right here in our community, there are children who are abused, abandoned, and neglected. And it's a, it's a responsibility that we t need to take very, very seriously because the need is great. And so while it's fun to have these kind of uh, fundraising events and community awareness events, we really have to remind ourselves and our community that there is a need that we need to address, and, and it's a serious need. In, in St. Lucie County alone, we served over 600 children. Uh, so that's a big number out of that 800 I just mentioned a moment ago. So we have a, a supporting families in crisis, so we do a lot of work in the community where we're trying to make sure kids uh, can remain in their homes and help parents have better parenting skills, making sure that the needs of the children are being addressed appropriately. And then when there is a need for a child to be placed out of the home, then we certainly have those resources available at the shelter uh, in Jensen Beach and our, our village for children 13 to 17 year olds in Indian River County. So I just want to make sure that, you know, as, as board members and as, as a person working day to day in our organization, that we're mindful of reminding our community how rich the need is in our community to serve children. Right. I think you're right. And one of the things I, I think people, time, creeps up on all of us and we get so caught up in day-to-day -day activities and right. we have it in the back of our mind Paul, that we want to volunteer right. that we want to reach out that that we want to send a donation to a commercial on TV not really knowing where the money is going right. all of us do that all of us have the same feeling we have that same human component but when you're talking about this the heart of St. Lucie County and helping these children they're neglected they're abandoned they're abused that's part of 
what we do. We help these. That's our motto. That's right. who we help. Right. Sometimes we're their last resource. And I think it's our responsibility just as adults to get involved if we can, but we're giving the county an opportunity. And, and like I said, I'm so thankful for the opportunity for being involved. And I started as a guild member, now I'm a board member. Right. And once I started and was involved and I could see, actually see where the money was going, how it was helping people. And when I went on a tour and I saw the children, two, three year old children, you know, reaching up to have me hold them, my heart exploded with joy that they're okay, but also broke because they've been through a lot. Right. And I, I just know not only um, being a board member, but just being a volunteer at heart that there's nothing more important when it comes to the safety and welfare of children. We really have to help them. And if people want to get involved, and I truly mean this, if you're sitting around and you're thinking, oh, I want to volunteer, I want to just call us today. We have open arms. We want to grow the skill. We want to help these children. And like I said, it, it is kind of our responsibility in my mind. It is yeah. our, in my heart. I know it is. Right. Well, I think, uh, you know, you've been very passionate about your appeal to make sure people understand what we do. And I think that's important. But you bring up a really important point. It's one thing for Jeff as our president of the board or myself or you and your role to encourage people to get involved with Hibiscus Children's Center. But I think you've hit it right on the head. The most important way to really understand what we're doing is come to Hibiscus Children's Center. Let us give you a tour. Let us let us walk you through our campus and let us show you uh, what we're doing every single day to make the lives of children better uh, by way of their experience with us. Uh, it, it's, uh, it's hard not to get emotionally connected with the organization when you walk into a facility and you see a two-year-old with their hands up in the air, desperate for a hug. And these are beautiful children and we have an opportunity to serve them. So this really, I don't see it as a, as a is a burden to serve them. It's a privilege it's to a serve privilege. them. Yep. And so Absolutely. I, yep. I, I applaud you for reminding us that uh, we have opportunities to show yep. our, our facilities. All you have to do is ask and come by and right. we'll be glad to show you what we do. And there, I, think, I think getting it out <clears throat> to the public sometimes there is a difficulty in you want to protect the children. They've been through enough so you don't, you're not blurting it out there. You know, there's these children that need to, you know, they're in these shelters and all that. But once you get that tour and you do see them, it, it is amazing. And, and you had talked about it once before. Unfortunately, the need is so great and is there. We want to put you out of business one day. Right. And, you know, to do that, we do have to get this awareness up and we have to keep this active in the community. But, I mean, it is kind of uh, funny in a way that, that our, our job is, is bringing you on as the CEO is to eventually have it so that you don't have a job one day because we're not, you don't, aren't needed anymore in the community. We're not there, but hopefully someday we will be. Well, that's exactly right, Jeff. It would be wonderful if agencies like ours uh, did not have to be here. But thank goodness we are. Absolutely. Because as, right. yep. as we've been talking about, we see the expressions on a child's face when maybe for the first time they're feeling accepted or loved or cared for. Uh, maybe for the first time they're laying their head on a pillow at night, not worrying about, you know, will they have something eat to eat tomorrow morning mm -hmm. or will they have a, a safe place to wake up to the next day or how am I going to get to school? So all of those things our children are dealing with every single day. And that's the point I was trying to make mm -hmm. earlier that I think our community just doesn't know. And so if they don't know, they don't right. know that there's an opportunity to respond. And so our job uh, as we're meeting and, and having this discussion is to remind ourselves and our community that the need is great and we could use our community's help and we're happy to you know plug them in wherever their skill set may lie not all of us uh, are uh, capable of working with children one-on-one -on -one. Uh, where as you both are in business we're looking for people with business skills and homemaker skills and caring skills and art skills and music skills the the array of things that we're looking for to help expose our kids to a more positive way to go through life is pretty wide. And so the opportunities to serve are, are large. So we've talked about two events. Yes. One is a golf event at PGA, so I don't want to forget that, that we, yes. we, we want to play golf at a PGA course. And so for our golfers that are out there, or, or for our, those of you who have friends who are golfers, take us up on this opportunity to have a great golfing venue at a, at a PGA course here in October. And then, uh, obviously, our wine and dine uh, that accompanies that. But we're, we're doing something else, I think, later in the year. Yes, on December 3rd, we are having our, um, uh, our third event, which is another golf tournament up at Indian Hills Golf Course in Fort Pierce, which is uh, 
it's going to be another charity uh, golf tournament. However, it's also going to be kind of a give back to all the volunteers and a thank you for uh, and all the employees of, of Hibiscus as well, all the, the incredibly hardworking people as a thank you. And uh, it's, it's a little bit more laid back, uh, just goofier, a little bit more fun. Still going to be uh, raising money and, mm -hmm. and, and all of that, but it's, it's kind of a, uh, like I said, just a, a thank you for all the dedication, hard work for the volunteers, the, wor the employees, the workers, everybody that's been involved in the county uh, to help out throughout the year. So it's something new we're trying uh, just as a, an added uh, bonus, I, I guess you would call it, for, uh, for, for a big thank you. Well, terrific. I think that sounds exciting. It's, a, it's another great time for people to be aware of Hibiscus Children's Center. But I, I really like the way you phrased it. I, I, you know, I, I like to play golf, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not on the tour and never will be on the tour. <laughs> uh, so I know how to shank a ball. Yeah. Or, um, you Don't know, we all? <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, it's exciting to know that we've got another golf venue that maybe is is we're welcoming anybody who's mm -hmm. uh, got a skill set higher than mine, yes. but we're certainly okay if yours matches mine uh, or maybe lower. And, and somebody who just wants to get out there and be with people, participate in a fun fundraising event, and not worry about whether they're, they're the best golfer in Correct. The, the community. Yep. This is a more user-friendly golf course. Yes. Ah, very nice, very nice. <laughs> I actually think I played it when I first got here. Yes, you you're did. right, it was a very friendly course. That yeah. was. It was well maintained, and we, if I recall right, last year we had lots of rain, so hopefully we'll, well have better weather this year. Well, I will say, last year it was very interesting because we were debating at 6.15 in the morning if we were going to have the tournament right. or not. The the golf gods allowed it, uh, and I, I think we were on the tee box of the 18th hole when the weather got a little unfriendly. We made it in. I think everybody was able to finish the round, and we got underneath the awning by the time the uh, rains came but that's true it, it was just a, it was a great event but yeah it was it was cool so it yeah. was uh, nice weather uh, temperature wise for that, that event here's here's why I bring that up despite good weather bad weather ideal weather people showed up oh absolutely because they weren't there yeah. for golf yep golf was the second thing they were there for they were there because they knew this was a, an event to promote the well-being of children who are victims of child abuse, child abandonment, child neglect. And so that spoke to me in volumes that this is a community that cares for its children. Yeah. And so uh, I, I hope for an equally successful yeah. event later. Absolutely. So. And, and, and with that community involvement, I, I mean, we, we had a lot of great people that also help with other organizations around. Scott Van Duzer did a, a great job with that yes. as well. And again, Corey has, is, he knows everybody and has just been instrumental in, in, in this as well, so Corey Benton. So yes. uh, it, it is, it's a team effort. And again, it's about getting the word out for a, just an absolutely great cause and what Hibiscus does. Right. And we do have some fun along the way, so. Absolutely. <laughs> and speaking, Paul, if you don't mind um, getting the word out, I have some numbers I just want to throw out to you. Sure. I would like <clears throat> possibly, um, I want to reach out to the community right now. 60 to 80 guild members in St. Lucie, and it starts today. So I'm looking for people to reach out to us, Hibiscus Children's Center. You can give us a call, visit our website. Um, but we really need volunteers. And the numbers that I'm throwing out there, they're realistic. They're in Vero, they're in Martin. And St. Lucie County has one of the biggest, um, what is it, Don the biggest donation city, right, in the United States? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yep. So I don't see why it would be a problem. I really think we could make this happen. I'm excited to make it happen. And every time I talk to somebody about it, they're always interested in wanting more information. So if you're interested, you're watching this program today, and you really want to be involved, this is your sign. Yes. I, I appreciate that. That's exactly what we wanted to do today, was let this community know that there's a place for them to serve in a meaningful way uh, to make a difference in the lives of children who um, need them most. Um, this ex It's exciting. Yes. It's very exciting. Very exciting. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the number of kids we're serving, just so our, our community knows. Uh, I've already mentioned we've served uh, about 1,800 kids this, this, uh, this past year. Uh, we will easily serve that again this year. We serve about uh, 35 kids every single day in our shelter in, the, in uh, Vero Beach and another 35 in Jensen Beach. So I'm just trying to make sure that our audience is aware that every single day 
we've got about 35 to 40 kids in, in each of our uh, residential treatment facilities. And then every month we're treating about 400 kids right here in St. Lucie County. So I want to I make sure people know about uh, the number of children we're serving. I'm also excited about something new that I think both of you know about. We just uh -oh. rolled it out July 1st, uh, which is I appreciate, Shauna, you telling people to go to our website. For uh -huh. those uh, of you who maybe embrace a different technology, um, I'm pleased to announce that Hibiscus Children's Center has rolled out a new app. And so go to your favorite app store and download the Hibiscus Children's Center app. I think you'll find it very um, user friendly. There's a lot of information on it. Have you two taken a look at it yeah, yet? I have. Yeah. I, I have not. I'm not that computer savvy. <laughs> okay, so I, I have in the studio today two folks that represent our community. One who instantly got on the app and understood completely what to do with it, and another maybe not so um, user um, friendly, maybe. Um, and we we recognize that. So um, there are a lot of ways to get a, in touch with Hibiscus Children's Center. Yeah. The app is just one way. The beauty of it is. It's, it's available right on your phone, on your smartphone. You're gonna get all the uh, success stories and, and stories about what we do every single day here at Hibiscus Children's Center. But for those of you who, an app just does not sound fun at all, we still have our website, we still have a telephone number, we still have email access. So there are so many ways for our community to reach us. It's just a matter of picking up a phone, picking uh, up uh, a website or just any number of ways to reach us. So um, thank you so much for being here, well, Jeff. Thank you for having us. Uh, it's, it's a real treat having you on our board and, and serving in the role that you serve us in. And I'm thrilled that we've got two people like Jeff and Shauna. Uh, you're so engaged in our community. You're so committed to Hibiscus Children's Center and you represent exactly what we're looking for. We're looking for uh, exceptional talent who wants to make a positive difference in the lives of children who need us most. So for those of you who have had an opportunity to spend some time with us, thank you. We hope you've learned a little bit about Hibiscus Children's Center and our commitment and passion to children. Um, we're excited about what we can do together, and so this is my appeal as well. Please consider joining Hibiscus Children's Center by way of volunteering. Help us grow our St. Lucie County Guild. We're excited to hear from you, and thank you so much.